Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Imagine you have a huge library and you want to find a book by its title. And if the books are unsorted, you will need to check them one by one. And that's very slow, right? But if there is an index, like an alphabetically sorted list of the book titles, you can jump directly to the right section. That's very fast, right? Similarly, in MongoDB, indexes are special data structures that store a small portion of the collection data in an easy to search form. Do you get it? Right. So by default, MongoDB creates an index on the underscore ID field automatically. But we will understand that how we can create our own indexes in MongoDB query. Right. So let me take you first to my MongoDB compass and show you the data I am holding. So let me just refresh it. And if you go to the employee collection, this is the data set I have. Now, this particular document is having the field name, name, department and salary with ID of course, right? So since we are going to learn about the indexes, so you should understand the output first, right? Like whatever the query I'll write, you need to look at the output. And then it will be pretty much sure that you will get this concept very easily, right? So first of all, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write here DB dot employees employees is my collection name, then dot find, right? You know what it will do? It will give me all the document that is stored right now. If I want to find only for department, that is, let's say IT, right? Okay, let me just check department. Let me just copy the. Okay, fine. So it is department, right? Fine. So if I'm having this now, if I just enter it, what do you get? I'll get all the data set, which is having the department as IT, right? But do you know that whether it is fast or slow, you will say, uh, sir, it came very fastly, like in just some milliseconds so it is definitely fast i'll say yes it is fast but it is measured in milliseconds only right so okay let me just do one thing for you i'll write here explain explain and inside of it if i write here execution stats like this so it will do what it will give me the, all the states during the time of execution, right? So if I press enter, you need to check here. This time it is giving me the complete stat, right? So you need not to worry about these things. Just come to this portion execution stats, right? So here number of document which is written is three, of course, right? Here we were having three documents. So it is saying that three documents are written, but the total docs examined are six, which means that all the docs I'm having, the six out of six docs are examined to give me this particular three result. Do you know that when you have a very large collection, at that time you need to suffer a lot because it will take a very long time. If you want to search only for the department as IT, let's say there are only three data which is having this department as IT and you are having thousands of data, right? means among all these thousand of collection there are only three with are holding it at that time it will take a very long time why because it is examining all the docs right that's the real problem that's the real problem which is need to resolve so let's go and understand that how we resolve it well resolving this method is the same as the title which is by creating index if we create an index on the particular field, it will do what? Tell me that what it will do. Well, it will help you to store the uh, particular field value in one particular or some separate section, right? And when you do the query search at that time, from that particular section, it will first search for that particular value that you are doing searching right and then it will give you the result on the basis of that let me give you the example let's say let's say let me just clear everything and if i write here the same thing right db.employee.find and department 
as it and explain the execution stats right this is what it will do it will give me the complete stat of that but before that uh if i write here db like i'm going to create the index this time right so db dot employ employs okay dot create index right for creating index you need to write create index like this and put a bracket and inside of it just write the name of the field on which you want right i want to create the index on this particular department right so i'll write here depart meant like this and just put one or minus one as a value one is for the ascending right you want to create the index in the ascending order or in the descending you can put normally we take one as here right and if you press enter you can check the department this particular id which is created right which this particular index which is created its name is now department one right now if i go to see that how many indexes i have so for that purpose what we need to write i need to write here db dot employees uh i'm writing lots of mistake employees dot get indexes like this and if i press enter you can check it is first giving me version 2 it is by default by the mongodb you need not to worry about that right and then it is giving me the key so the first key which is uh, having the index like the index is on is on the id it is by default if you are not having any index that means it is having the index on the id that's why it has uh, given me or the number of docs it has examined is completely six why because we don't uh, query on the basis of id we query on the basis of particular field right and that's why so uh, and the second id second index that i we have created is on the department right that's why you can check here this is the particular index right so the index is on the department field and the name of the index is your department underscore one do you get this take a break do you get this how we created the index now i'll show you that how it will work now since the index is created now if i go and run this particular query right let me just show you first the execution right db.employees.find department as it right i'm having the index on the department right that's why now if i press enter i'm getting three different results right that is of course i'll get as per the query now if i run this particular thing now right with the explain execution stats now if you press enter and you go and check for it here in the execution stats if you check the number of item results return is three of course but the total docs examined this time is only three do you get it that this time it has examined only three data set or three document not all the complete six how did this work at the time when you created the index on the department then it created a separate storage or the memory where it has stored all the values of the department there right and when you do the query on the basis of department this time it first search that particular index results or the values that it, ha it has stored and on the basis of that it went to the docs and take out that particular documents right so this is how your index work i hope you understood the concept of making an index now if you want to delete any particular index for that purpose what you can do you just write here db dot employ dot drop index drop index and uh, you need to write the name of the index so earlier the name of the index which was formed was department underscore one like this press enter and you can see okay one right now if you go and search for db dot employ employees dot get indexes right at that time you can check only one index is present here right 
so this is how it works so i hope you understood the concept that what are creating index what are its use and how we create and delete it thank you so much for watching goodbye